What's up, everyone? This is Sporty Spence 17 bringing you another Utah Jazz video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the upcoming draft that is in about a month and what the Utah Jazz can do with their number nine pick. Now, I found this on a Sports Illustrated website. What I'm showing you here it says three controversial trade proposals for Jazz to move up in the 2023. Three NBA draft. Now, I think the Jazz are solid with the number nine pick. They can work a lot with drafting someone at nine. But these are some hypothetical trades that could happen and could potentially help the Jazz and the other team. Some of these are very interesting. Um, one of them I definitely do not agree with at all. So the third pick on this is the Magic trade down to acquire more first round talent. Utah Jazz would receive the sixth overall pick, the 36th overall pick, and Jonathan Isaac. I don't know anything about Jonathan Isaac, but I'm guessing he's from the Magic. Orlando Magic would receive the ninth overall pick, 16th overall pick, Kelly Olenek, and Rudy Gay. This one I'm okay with. I'm okay with this. Uh, to move up three spots, the sixth overall pick, especially if there's someone that Danny Ainge has an eye on in the five, six, or seven spot. Uh, we can get rid of Kelly Olenek and Rudy Gay. I think the biggest thing is giving up two draft picks because the 36 overall in the second round pick isn't the greatest. But the ninth overall pick for a sixth overall pick and then we give him Kelly Olenek and Rudy Gay, That's that could be good. That could be very good, honestly. <laughs> Going down this one is Jazz capitalize on Rockets preparation to welcome back James Harden. I know there's a lot of rumors about the Houston Rockets bringing back James Harden. That's none of my business. I'm not a Rockets fan or James Harden's fan. So we can push them all in that little corner over there. But this says the Jazz would receive the fourth, the fourth overall pick and a 2024 second round pick. The Houston Rockets would receive the ninth overall pick, 16th overall pick, Colin Sexton, Simone Fontecchio, and a 2027 Cleveland first round pick. That's a pretty hefty thing for the Jazz to trade. and But we get the fourth round pick. The top four people in this draft are really good. I'm very hesitant on trading Colin Sexton, though. We've only had him for one season, and it seems he's kind of a half untouchable, half like if a good scenario, trade scenario comes into play, we could use him. So that one, I would... I think I still like the other one better for the sixth overall pick. I don't think we trade that much, especially two first round pick three first round picks actually the ninth the 16th and cleveland's first round pick just for the fourth overall pick i don't think i don't think that's a good idea that's just too much to ask for for a potential trade a uh, potential draft bust so this one is the jazz decide to go all in on a top three pick this says jazz receive third overall pick and Amf i don't know Amf anthony simons for the Portland Trail Blazers would receive our 28th overall pick and Lowry Marketin. See, that's where I just say, eh. no, 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 no. Portland Trail Blazers, you are not getting our Lowry Marketin. I think that we wouldn't trade Lowry Marketin unless if it was some crazy, just like Danny Ainge had like Lowry Marketin for like 10 first round picks and a superstar already. I don't see the Utah Jazz moving away from Lowry Marketing. I do want a white Lowry Marketing jersey. I think I like them. I like the white ones. I think I'd look pretty decent in them. Uh, so yeah, those are the three picks that, that the Jets, well not three picks, the three trades that could potentially go down, something like that. Something else interesting I saw is an article about Jalen Brown being traded to the Utah Jazz. Now the Celtics are down 3-0 against the Miami Heat. And as we know, that's not up to Boston Celtic standards. <laughs> they're gonna get, they're, I think they're gonna get swept. Jimmy Butler is someone I would love to have on the Utah Jazz, but he's he is he's making Miami a great team to watch and fun team, because they're a team. But they're picking apart the Celtics like no other. And I'm I don't, I'm not confident that Jalen Brown wants to be in Boston. And he said that he'd be, if a team needed him, he would be there for them. Because he's, he's one of those guys that 
sticks with her contract. I don't think he'd ever ask for a trade, but he might not like where he's at. But Jalen Brown, he could really add depth to the Utah Jazz roster. I mean, Colin Sexton, Jalen Brown, Larry Markkinen, and Walker Kessler, those four right there on a starting lineup, that's a pretty good starting lineup. And then maybe Kelly Olenek would just slide in there and he'd be a really good. I like Kelly Olenek. I like my boy Kelly. He's cool. And so Jalen Brown could potentially be a Utah Jazz member. Now there's a lot of other trade things about Luka Doncic, 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 excuse my Croatian or whatever he's where ever he is from. I don't speak any other foreign language except for English is the only language I speak. But it, I don't think, I, well, first off, Dallas definitely, I, they will do whatever it takes to keep Luca. Mark Cuban is just that type. I mean, see what they did. They got Kyrie Irving in, except for that was really silly. Who wants Kyrie Irving? There is a lot of rumors that he'll sign with the LA Lakers. Let LA just bomb themselves up again. But, you know, other than that, really, the Luka Doncic on the Jazz, I'd rather have Jalen Brown 100%. I think he's a better team player. He doesn't complain. He is pretty consistent, and he can be clutch. I, I went to the Boston Celtics game in March, and he was the only one making shots for them. And Jay, uh, Jason Tatum was just so inconsistent. <laughs> and I just like the style of his play, and I think that he could be a really good um, matchup with Kessler, Sexton, and Marketing. Now, I'm okay with trading our ninth, 16th pick, future first round picks for Jalen Brown, of course. I'm not sure how much time he has left on his contract, but that is something that I would absolutely love to see is Jalen Brown to the Utah Jazz. I'd be excited. My, my wife and my in-laws, they're all Boston Celtics fans, so that would Inch them closer to becoming Utah Jazz fans if Jalen Brown were to become a Utah Jazz member. So there's a lot there's a lot going on. I mean, there's not a lot going on, but there's a lot going on at the same time. Uh, it this is this this is random, but I really like this water bottle. Go Utah Tech Trailblazers. Uh, but other than that, that's about it going on in the Utah Jazz world. Just a bunch of draft trade proposal speculations or who they could draft. Now I'm a I'm a Kansas fan, so I'm all for I'm all for Grayson Dick, I believe is his name. Let me make sure. Is that his name? Yeah, Grady Dick. I'm all for the Jazz draft him number nine. I think he could fit in really well as a shooter. If we if we just stay put at number nine, I'm sure he'll be around. I would like it. We've drafted a lot of Kansas members over the past couple of years. We have Azubuke, we have Ochai Abaji, and then we could have Grady Dick. All on the same roster. Well, Yudoka is probably going to get off. Yeah. Thank you all for watching again. This has been Sporty Spence 17 and peace out, dog. Let's go. Let's go, Jazz. Take note. <laughs>